Hey guys, sorry, we just got it cut off, so I'm just continuing straight from the previous video. So we said that this length was 2.5 meters. I'm then going to call this distance from the end to be x. And we have the same um, cut. It's going to be the exact same. It's v, m, and n. So solving first for n, the sum of the forces in the x direction equaling 0. So that would give us that n would just equal 0. Some of the forces in the y direction, taking up as positive, equals 0. So that means we have V minus 20 minus 40 equals 0. That means V equals 60. And we're going to take some of the moments about the cut to equal 0, taking anti-clockwise as positive. So this M is going clockwise about the cut, so it's minus M. This 20 and 40 are both also going clockwise about the cut. So we'll do the um, 20 first, it's going to be minus 20. This lever arm is the full distance x minus 2.5 meters. So it's x minus 2.5. This 40 acts the full distance from there to there, which is x. So it's just going to be minus 40x equals 0. If you were to solve this, you would find that m equals minus 60x plus 50. So there's your Benny moment equation for cut number two. So we've done all three cuts. We're now going to be drawing the axial force, uh, shear force, and Benny moment diagram. So just to redraw what our problem looked like. We had a pin, a roller, and a roller. We also had a little pin inside here. On the beam. So there was a pin joint there, a little pin, con um, continuing the span. There was a 10 kilonewton meter downwards UDL. So 10 kilonewtons per meter. And we also had a point load of 20 kilonewtons.